so yeah, I kind of screwed this video up. So this is the real beginning. Then you're going to see a little brief, about two minute video of a visitor we had up in the mountains. Then you're going to see the rest of the real video where it starts off as though you're going to see the visitor later. You're not. Happy you. Hey y'all, it's Arwen of Tarot by Arwen. Happy Yule, y'all. Um, I love Yule. It's a great day. It's the shortest day of the year. In my tradition, it's when the um, Oak King and the Holly King battle, and the Holly King wins. Um, there's a bunch of different myths around it. One is that there are uh, two individuals sharing the same soul. A whole bunch. We used to do great fun rituals where um, we chose to have the Oak King at this time of year ask for somebody to take his place. He was tired. He wanted some time off, blah, blah, blah. And the Holly King would step up. The Oak King would be old. The Holly King would be new. And we'd use a younger and an older man for that in our rituals. Um, and then at Lipa or Summer Solstice, we would do opposite the Holly King would be old and looking for somebody to take over his job and the Oak King would take over. And it relates to the cycles of growth and all of that. Um, and it's, you know, it's a gift-giving holiday for pagans. We've, um, many pagans that I know will do like one gift on Yule and then a big thing on Christmas or vice versa. Big thing on Yule and a little thing on Christmas. For me, the people I live with, they're a Christmas people, so we celebrate Christmas bigger than we do Yule. Um, and it's cool, Yule. Y'all. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so today is the winter solstice here in the Northern Hemisphere. For you guys in the Southern Hemisphere, happy belated, I believe, summer solstice. Because if you're... Time zones, screw me up. But, um, so happy solstice, summer or winter, whichever you're celebrating. I wanted to talk a little bit about some stuff I'm going to be talking about during the week and I'm going to show you a video of a really wonderful visitor my husband and I had. We took a little getaway this weekend up to the mountains and then I'm going to announce the contest winners. Yes, I'm doing the contest winners at the end. Haha. <laughs> now, let's talk about some stuff I got. 
if you watched your telescopes, and I don't know why you don't if you didn't, the Revelations Cards Oracle by Paul Miller was used for this week's Oracle. I'll be doing a review on that. And I got Revelations Incense also from Paul. Oh, y'all. And it says, this timeless scent contains notes of jasmine, palo santo, sweet grass, lavender, and lastly, just a touch of glamour and fairy. It's... <coughs> I took it too deep to spell. It's sweet with a little, sp a little citrusy. It must be the lemongrass. Warning. By burning this incense, you might open up fairy rings and portals to other dimensions. Cute! So, it's a wonderful, wonderful incense. I'm going to be talking about the Animism Tarot. I used this one in this week's Tarot Scopes also. Super fun. It's got the Happy Squirrel. I got the Yoga Tarot. We'll be talking about that a little bit. I got the Magic Stamp Kit. How fun is that? The Hay House sent me a Denise Lynn Native Spirit Oracle Cards. Thank you. Somebody recommended these to me and I asked Hay House about them and they sent them to me. The Tibetan Book of Living and Dying. This is one of those books that I think we all should have on hand. It's just a really amazing book. Super excited about this book, y'all. Um, this is one that Llewellyn sent me and I will do a review probably not this week because I really want to read it and I want to get into it and oh yeah Tending Bridget's Flame by the amazing Lunea Weatherstone and Lunea is a priestess writer teacher and tarot counselor uh, been serving the pagan community for more than 25 years yeah good stuff people good stuff Llewellyn also sent me Tarot of the Orishas. I'm really looking forward to diving into this one. It looks very different. I'm going to have to do some work with it, I'm sure. Um, but you know that I'm also supporting the Voodoo Tarot on Kickstarter. Fully funded. So if you want to get in on it and get a copy before, you know, it goes public, check the down bar and I'll show you a link. Now, I bought myself a Yule gift. I did. It's a coloring book. Is that not wonderful? I'm very excited about it. I tried to see where my other goodies are. Where did I put them? Oh, here they are. I can't show you something because they're um, gifties. Late gifties, but gifties. Where are they? Okay, so let me show you my really cool thing and then we'll do the giveaway. And I'm doing two giveaways. One for um, the friend, the Arwen Friends big giveaway, and one for the gratitude. I found, I went to Rio Doso, New Mexico this weekend with my husband, and in one of the stores, I found this. Now, you may be familiar with this in a different format, where it's polished. It's a beautiful stone polished. This is raw malachite. Malachite's a wonderful heartstone, and I really love it. Oh, and my hubby bought me a ring. Pretty. So, let's talk about that giveaway. Huh. Wonder who could have won. Now, I had a lot of entries in the Arwen Friends. So, I took all the no I put, put numbers on everybody's entry, and then I put it in random, and went one through blah, blah, blah. And the person who won is one of the friends, Samuel Marshall. Thank you so much for joining me as a subscriber. And thank you to Genesis Lover for suggesting that you join. Genesis Lover and Samuel, you both won a half hour tarot reading with me. Now, what you have to do to redeem it, go to tarotbyarwin.com, choose a half hour slot, Go to work with Arwen and, and set up an appointment. And then don't pay. When it says you have to pay, just put in the notes all the questions that I ask you and then put um, winner of contest. Now, 
I will have to verify that you're Samuel Marshall and Genesis Lover. And I have ways to do that so nobody cheats. Um, but please, get in touch with me. Do redeem this by January 31st. Is there, is there 30 days or 31st? 31 days in January. I don't know. 31. So by January 31st, you need to redeem this. Congratulations, you two. Now, the gratitude sticker. Where is my little gratitude sticker? I put it away here so it would be safe. Hey, y'all laughing as I dig around in my drawer, right? Oh, good grief. Okay. It's in there. I, I just can't find it right away. The winner of the gratitude sticker. Again, I took all the people who entered. I entered it in the random list and did a random thing. And that is Morbid Storytime. Uh, Myrna, I believe, is the the other in question marks. But Morbid Storytime, congratulations. You win the gratitude sticker. I need you to go to tarotbyarwin.com, use the contact me button, and just tell me you're the winner and give me your mailing address and I'll pop it in the uh, envelope and send it off to you. Congratulations. So, this has been a great Monday. Happy Yule. I hope you enjoyed the haul. If there's a deck out of everything that I showed you that you really want to see first, let me know. And I'll see if I can't put that one first. Y'all, it's been a wonderful year. I know it's not the end of the year, but I just want to take this moment to tell you how grateful I am for you joining me. You know, I really didn't start this YouTube channel up real until August, thanks to Ember. Um... And it's, it's a joy. It's just a joy to be able to connect with you like this. So, and I hope you enjoyed the uh, little visitor video in the middle. Seek joy, y'all. Bye.